My name is Abiola Oladapo, co-founder of Megacy Foundation, ED Megacy Group. So Charles is going to be taking over to tell us more about Megacy Paint. Um, the paint industry comprises of a lot of competition and um, Megacy Paint, our focus has been to focus on the quality of our products over the years and continue to work on strategy to get to understand our customers a lot better and continue to customize services and products to fit their needs. Megacy Stories is one of an adventure. It started as a family business incorporated in 1992. It's been a great one. We diversify into various products. We have the Megacy paint, we have the Megacy petroleum, we have the real estate, and we also have the oil age. And Megacy Foundation is the newest one, started five years ago. The corporate, the corporate social responsibility entity that imparts life. Um, we will consider business successful when we're able to come get closer to our customers, reach at least 36 states in the country, and, um, and have our plants distributed around at least three to four geopolitical zones to see that we're closer to our customers as well. Um, yeah, and of course, um, being a household name in the country as well, and being a major play, player in the, in the employment market. In five years, I mean, five years is not a long time from now. I would want to see Megacy being a household name in the country and um, being a major player of labor, employment, and, um, and of course, um, reach out to empower some of our labor through some of our, some of our strategies around. So we find that 69 million people don't have access to clean drinking water in Nigeria, most especially in the rural area and urban area. So we came up with a unique solution that portable filters that provide people access to portable drinking water. Well, our unique strategy is basically collaborating with other people, corporations, public and private, international foundation to get, get people to be aware of this issue and provide unique solution to provide people portable water. We will benchmark to affect one million lives in the next five years. Sometimes we have control of some of the things that affect the price. So what we do as a business is to make sure we understand and continue to research on some of the things that might affect it so we can control it the best way we can by making sure that if, for example, raw materials are going up, we'll stockpile what we need to stockpile. If we feel raw materials are going down, we make sure we're not stocking too much of that. If not, it's going to affect our pricing. So as a business, we try to make sure that we are grounded with that process to make sure that we don't allow the prices affect us that much. Um, with competition, I think, like I said earlier, we're in a very competitive environment. So what we've done over the years to make sure that we're focusing on our core strength, which is providing quality product at the best possible pricing. So what we've just done is make sure that we focus on our customers, understand our customers, grow the right product, have them the right product when they need it, at the best price they can get it. So we're not in that whole space where we are trying to compete. I think with costing, you, you find that sometimes you have control on some costs, sometimes you don't. So as a business, what we've done over the years is to make sure that we're doing continuous research to understand where we might get hit with the price. I'm Charles Oladapo, Managing Director of Megacy Paints, subsidiary of Megacy Industry. This is um, Business Day Marketplace. <laughs>